Us four are at Edinburgh Waverley Station. And we also look a bit pink because I stood right in front of a super drug billboard. Between Scotland's two largest cities, Edinburgh and Glasgow, there are four different ways. You can go via Bathgate, you can go via Carstairs and Shots, and the fastest route is via Falkirk High. But we've decided, in our infinite wisdom, to do all four of these routes. Because why the hell not, you know? So today, Nat and I are joined by Clara and Will. To, you know, four people, four routes. <laughs> Fitting enough. So as we are leaving, this service is via... Shots. Shots, okay, cool. We couldn't do this on, uh, we, we thought of maybe doing this on Saturday, but Shots was shot for like engineering works, wasn't it? So uh, yeah, we're doing it today instead. So this service via Shots to Glasgow is scheduled to take one hour and six minutes. 3.85s by the way, also, I must admit. I'm a big fan of these trains. They're really cool. So the cool thing about the route via Shots is the fact that it was the last of the routes between Edinburgh and Glasgow to be electrified, which it was electrified so in 2019, which also allowed for an increase in frequency from uh, one to two trains an hour, also creating an express service between Edinburgh, Livingston and Glasgow. We call this taking a shot of shots. Okay, just left Bells Hill, next stop is Glasgow. Woo! If you ever wondered where the sleeper train sleeps, well, the sleeper train sleeps here. This is Polmody Depot. Shh. The sleeper train is sleeping. A singular carriage of the sleeper train. Well, here we are at Glasgow, as uh, one of the four routes done via Shots. It's a beautiful station. God, I do, I do forget how just nice it is. I'm a big fan. Next, we're going back to Edinburgh via Carstairs this time. So interestingly here, we have uh, an LNER Zuma because they come here once per day, uh, but only until December. When it reaches December, they're going to withdraw the LNER services direct from King's Cross to uh, Glasgow Central. Uh, this one is just here because uh, they have to run regular route retentions to make sure the drivers still know the way here. Vlog? Oh hey, that's what I'm doing. So, this second route now, via Carstairs, is uh, the longest route of the four, which takes, uh, well, for us, it's timetable to take an hour and 26 minutes. So, Carstairs was uh, the first line to be electrified between Edinburgh and Glasgow in the 1990s, part of the East Coast Main Line electrification. It's also the least frequent link between the two cities, getting only six ScotRail trains per day. Snowplows? In this weather, mother well, I'm sure glad she is. The next station we're approaching is Carstairs. Um, as well as the six a day that ScotRail do, there's also, this, the, the one by Carstairs is also the one that LNER do when they run their one a day Glasgow Central service. They'll take the via Carstairs route between Edinburgh and Glasgow. So the next stop after car stairs is Haymarket. We're getting out, not at Edinburgh this time, but instead we're going to be getting out at Haymarket because, I assume because um, we don't have time, well we, we don't have significant time at Edinburgh. It's just how the connections have lined up for yeah. us. It's about, Haymarket's basically Edinburgh anyway, it'll do. <laughs> Once again, within the bounds of Edinburgh, I imagine we're uh, not far from Haymarket, so uh, yeah, let's get ready for the third surface to Glasgow. Oh. 
has formed all five cartridges. Well, here we are at Haymarket. That's two of them done. Pretty much. Haymarket is basically Edinburgh. Uh, so yeah, time for number three. Only in Scotland would you ever find a vending machine for just iron brew. Yeah, we don't want that train. The next one we're getting is a 334, right? Unfortunately, yes. Yes, to Helensborough, which goes via... Glasgow Green Street lower level, which means we have to go via Bathgate. My first 334. Here we go. So, immediately, this service is a bit busier than the uh, other ones we've been on so far. Are we getting into afternoon peak or is it still a bit too early? It's getting yeah. there. It's, it's just gone three o'clock, I think. We successfully unit hopped at uh, Edinburgh Park and we now actually have a seat for all of us four. Hurrah. So we are now on the Bathgate to Airdrie link. So this is the newest connection between Edinburgh and Glasgow and it was opened in 2010. Uh, and this line essentially now means that the communities of Bathgate have a much more direct route to Glasgow and Airdrie. It also means that people from Edinburgh, if they wanted to, could get a direct train all of the way to Helensborough. It's a very long route though and uh, as someone who uh, his family's from Helensburg. We used to take the route via Falkirk Kai and then change onto this at Queen Street Lair level. So this one takes one hour and 22 minutes. It's uh, marginally quicker than via car stairs, but it's, uh, yeah, almost, you know, as slow as the slowest one. Do you want a mic to say hello? <laughs> eh. I've got one here, but there's also this one. Uh... While this route between Edinburgh and Glasgow is not exactly the longest, well, in terms of time, it definitely has the most intermediate stops, that's for sure. So at Coatbridge Sunnyside you can wait for the Summerley uh, Heritage Centre which among other things has a heritage tramway, so that's cool. So now that we're leaving High Street, we are now in the tunnels. Next stop is Queen Street Low Level. Finally made it to Glasgow Queen Street. That was a very sort of long feeling route. It had a lot of intermediate stops and got quite slow towards Glasgow. So how about we get what is the fastest route between Edinburgh and Glasgow, which goes via Falkirk High. So here we are on the fastest route between Glasgow and Edinburgh which for this route is timetabled to take 50 minutes. So the Falkirk High route was electrified in 2017. It gets two eight car trains an hour, but in peak times it gets up to four and also on Saturdays. So now we've left Lynn Lithgow a couple of minutes ago now, so we're about a quarter of an hour away from Edinburgh. Already, this, uh, this journey has gone by a lot faster than uh, via Bathgate, that's for sure. I also think that uh, outside of London, these are the only eight car regional trains that you'll find. I mean, I guess it depends if you count Liverpool to Birmingham New Street as a regional service. I mean, I don't think it feels like one, but I don't know. You can debate it in the comments. Right, here we are. We've left Haymarket, and I can actually see Edinburgh Waverley in front of me right now. Thank 
Well, here we are now at Edinburgh again. We've done all four routes between Glasgow and Edinburgh. So what we all came to the conclusion was our favourite route was, uh, the, of course, the quickest uh, via Falkirk High. But if you want a, a train that's not as busy, Shots is a good alternative. It doesn't take too much longer. It's just car stairs is a bit awkward to get and Bathgate takes forever. So uh, that's why uh, Falkirk High wins for us, but Shots is also a, a really good service if you take the semi-fast. So yeah, I hope this was uh, an interesting idea, thing to do. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all very much for supporting the channel.